once I've shared my spring kitchen vignette, I'm ready to do my spring kitchen tour. So if you want to see how I've got my kitchen ready for spring, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see reviews about products that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. Because I do videos about those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. I am just so ready for spring and I want to bring spring in as much as I can. So now that I've shared my spring kitchen vignette, I wanted to go ahead and finish getting my house decorated for spring so I can welcome it in as much as possible. So let me show you what I've got so far. These are the pictures that I have on my wall right now for spring. My husband painted these pictures of our two granddaughters. One, she's painting her fingernails and that's something she's always doing. We call her our little diva. And the other one, she's just a little baby. But both of those are portraits that my husband painted. This is the long view of my kitchen. You can see it from one end to the other. So let's start on this end and I'll let you see the fork and spoon that I've got on the wall and the nice little plaque. The plaque says begin each day with a grateful heart and I find that's a sentiment that I embrace wholeheartedly. And then right here I have something else that I just really love and it is a sign that says recipe for a happy home, four cups of love, two cups of loyalty, three cups of forgiveness, one cup of friendship, five spoons of hope, two spoons of tenderness, four quarts of faith, and one barrel of laughter. And I love the little coffee cup there and then the latte there. And I just felt like that is just such a beautiful recipe for a happy home and something that I want to remember. So I really feel like these two sentiments speak quite a bit to me and they set the tone for our home. So now let me let you see what's on the little stand below them. You see my farm fresh pitcher and the behind that you see one of those beautiful little plates that I've picked up from Marshall's when I did my Ray Dunn hunt and that particular herbal plant there is rosemary and I just really feel like it just sets the tone that I want for spring and then right below that one is another little placard and it is kitchen conversions and in front of that is one of my little soup terrines that you guys all know how much I love so now let me give you just a, a better look at that whole little corner 
There's my fork and spoon on the wall. At first I was gonna put a kind of a cream colored or ivory pear, but I decided it was much too pale and I like the dark chocolate wood of this one much better. Now behind the table is a storage bench and I just picked that up today at the Salvation Army. I haven't had the opportunity to clean it up or anything yet, but I think I wanna let it sit right in front of this window. It'll be a nice little seat for my granddaughters when they come to visit and it'll be a nice little seat for me when I wanna look out the window. This just happened to be the half price sale at the Salvation Army. So here's storage there and I just thought and I just thought the top was just beautiful. It's quite grubby, but we'll see how well it cleans up. If not, I can always cover it. So that's just a little different angle that you can see there. And I've got the leaf out of the table and right now it seats four. There's just the two of us here, so there's more than enough seating for what our needs are. And here's my new clock. And you can see right in the center of the clock, it says Paris 1807. And as you know, my secret dream is to go to Paris. Well, really it's not a secret, I've told everyone. And that may be coming true this time next year, we'll see. And right here on the counter is another one of those herbal plates that I picked up. And this particular one is a picture of time. So I've got rosemary over there, I've got thyme right here, and then the one that I have in my vignette is fennel. And then behind this plate is just a tall, simple pitcher with nothing on it. But I just like how cool and clean and how spring-like the white is for me. And then of course, just some uh, dishwashing liquid and then hand soap right here, or hand wash, I should say, right here. And then here in my mason jars, you can see some of my various uh, staples. So this one is grits and there's rice, pancake mix, whole wheat flour, and sugar. And we're probably one of the few homes in America that still has a landline. And then right here on the end of the counter you see my spring kitchen vignette and there's my fennel dish and I am just loving those dishes. I just feel like they really help bring in the spring. And then behind that dish you see that tea plant which just really the, the leaves on the plant just really mimic the look of the leaves on the plate. And then there are my spring flowers, my tulips and my daffodils and then my little bird and then my little sign there that says you feel like home to me and then as we look across the kitchen we see another little vignette over there there's my little dog and I moved him around and I will move him around from time to time I'll probably put him away for summer but right now I'm really still enjoying him there on the counter and I've switched out my St. Patrick's Day beverage bar now to something more suitable for spring. And on the back of the sink, you see my little sponge tray and a little scrubber bubber thing that I use to wash my dishes with. And that's just something that I picked up from the Grove Collaborative, as well as the dish soap container. And I've got a link below if you're interested in checking out the Grove Collaborative. I think with purchase, you can use this link and then get like a five piece free set. So just something for you to consider. And here's another little spring vignette by what was my beverage station. So I've still got my hot chocolate out, but the coffee syrups and all the other things have been taken away. Here I've still got my sugar bowl. I've got a little black and white cow, salt and pepper shakers right here. And then of course, here's just the little rosemary plant. And it's a full plant, but I just love to have it out. Behind that, of course, the quintessential tulips, which pick up the red in the tulips that are over on my vignette across the um, way here. And then a little single serve teapot. I just love teapots, I love soup terrines, and I just felt like this just is bringing in the color that I want in the kitchen right now for spring. And there's my Ray Dunn Enjoy coffee mug domed cake stand and then of course some little pictures with some of my utensils in them that I enjoy using. My Vitamix is right next to those. 
Here is my stove and I've gotten several questions asked you, what is that thing sitting on your stove? And it's a grease can. My husband's fish grease is strained and goes in there. Here's my microwave. And look at some of the little goodies I've got on top of the microwave. Right here, I've got just a little herb mortar and pestle so I can press herbs out, grind them up with this if I need to. This is actually a set of measuring bowls. This is the one cup, this is the three quarter cup, and so forth and so on. And they're each in a different color, but the colors are nice and bright and I thought they were perfect for spring, so I thought I'd set this little turtle here. And then right next to that is a set of measuring spoons. And whereas I love the look of the measuring spoons, I don't use them as often as I use my Tupperware ones. They're more for decorative purposes, even though they do work. So I thought I would just kind of spread them out up there so that I could get a good look at them and just enjoy looking at them. So there are the spoons. There's my little turtle with the measuring bowls, and there's my little spice mortar and pesto. So here's another look at the kitchen. And look at this beautiful tablecloth that I've found to decorate my kitchen with for spring. You will see this again when I do my $5 Goodwill haul, but oh my goodness, is it not beautiful? Look at those colors, the pinks, the greens, the blues the very pale yellow background. It is just perfect for spring and I love tablecloths and it just perfectly complements my kitchen. I am so glad that I found it. So there you have it. There's my spring kitchen tour. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you. So here's my question for you. What part of this whole kitchen tour do you have a question about? Tell me in the comment section. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you in the next video.